For the purposes of this video, we're not gonna talk about how bad I look. Like, let's just not, let's not do it. Let's not go there. Let's not do it. Okay, cool. First instruction on this is do not use this product on its own. And, um, I guess it's a bit late for that, ain't it? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? As you can tell by the title, I am wanting to dye this hair. I don't know what color I want. I don't know what color I'm gonna get but I um, want to dye this hair. I'm hoping everything goes to plan. Otherwise, this would have been for nothing. This could either turn out good or this could turn out bad. So do not expect perfection from anything that's in this video. I'm not wearing makeup in this video. <laughs> Hashtag insecure. But um, yeah, let's just, let's, just, let's just fucking get into it. Should I show you guys what I'm working with? And I just couldn't do it. So let me just take it off. So this is what the wig currently looks like. It's a mess. Meeting whether I should wash it and then dye it and then by far that's just gonna take long. And I just, I just wanna see how this will turn out that I don't have time for that. Cause I did not come on camera looking like this for this not to turn out well. I really didn't. I did not come to play. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm a straightener, got brushes, spray bottle, um, tooth comb. So I'm gonna go in with a spray bottle and just douse my hair with water and I'm just gonna brush it out so it makes the straightening process easier and this part is self-explanatory you guys know how to straighten hair um yeah I'm just going and straightening the hair on my head well actually on the mannequin head because it's a wig and it's not actually my head but yeah I'm just gonna go in and straighten so this is the aftermath um as you can see I wasn't planning on going bone straight I just need it straight enough so I can go in and just trim it oh my god that's scary what does this do I just did something oh this closes this oh my god but why would you want it closed I don't know, guys, I don't... Give this video a like for me learning how to use a trimmer. Is it a trimmer? Or a clipper? I think it's gonna clipper. I think I want it like here. I'm gonna start lower and just play around with this demonic device and just... Oh my god! Okay, so I'm just gonna start trimming the hair and yeah, just cutting it. Initially I was going small by small, but then I started getting impatient and I started cutting a lot, which made it uneven. So it ended up having to do a lot of work because now I had an uneven patchy ass wig, which there's not much you can do with that. So had to go in again and just even everything out till my little heart was content. No guys, I don't know, like I've cut it a bit too much. See. I think I got it generally even now. There's just some parts that are a bit thin, so they're not as full as let's say the back would be. So they just look a bit like I overdid them, but it's just generally because they're not as full. You know what? <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here to the best of my abilities and we're just gonna get into dyeing the hair now. Um, I'm just scared to go any shorter. I'm not used to short hair, so I don't wanna cut too much off. I don't have any bleach, but I do have developers. So I'm gonna dye this hair with developer. I'm not expecting it to go blonde, it's not. I have three, four, I have four of these. 40 developers. I don't have normal gloves for dyeing hair, so I'm gonna use kitchen gloves. They stink. Fucking stink. I look like a rubber duck. Got the plastic bag. First instruction on this is do not use this product on its own. And um, I guess it's a bit late for that, ain't it? So now I'm just going to go in with the developer and just apply it all over the wig. Mm -hmm. 
So next you're gonna go in and just section different areas of the hair just to make sure that the developer properly goes through each section and that everything would just be uniform instead of being patchy. At start I was doing small um, application but then as I got into it I was like bro literally this is too much, too much. And yeah, so it's very important to brush it while you do it just because you really want the developer to go through every strand of hair and you want to make sure you do the back of the wig as well because we are trying our best not to get a patchy wig. Nobody wants a patchy wig, sis, okay? Um, yeah, so you just really want to douse it in and I didn't want to go too far up the roots. I wanted to have like black, darker roots, so that is why I'm not going as high up but if you want to that's your preference you now want to cover the wig in the bag and just let it sit and you also want to clean up your station because we are not messing we're not i decided to take a nap while i wait for this hair it is 1927 and i put my hair uncovered in the bag at like 5 30 in two hours I'm gonna leave it to like 8 30 and then we're gonna check on it and see how it's going i left this hair for over 20 hours in this bag and last night i thought nothing had happened so i literally went to bed and just forgot about it and now i checked on it again and it kind of changed so i'm just gonna rinse it off and we're just gonna see we're gonna see what we can do with this this is the color, so I just washed it, now I'm just going to go in and condition it. So the color of this wig varies obviously in the daylight and when it's wet but as I blow it out you begin to see the actual color of this hair. I don't know how I'll describe this color um, but yeah this is the color that I got and I'm not mad at it. So I'm now gonna apply the wig on my head and for anyone asking this is a totally different day That's why the wig is no longer straight, but um, yeah, excuse all the faces I make when I apply wigs Just I don't know why I screw my face like that So I'm gonna apply a first layer of got to be glue and then I'm gonna blow that out Then I'm gonna apply a second layer and then I'm gonna blow that out again When I apply my wigs, I like to start from one ear going to the center and then the other ear and that's just how I get it to lay flat and I'm just going to put this over it and this is the final look. This is after the dyeing, the cutting, whatever, this is the final look. I'm just trying to flatten out one side because one side just stands out more than the other and yeah, this is the look. Get your bag sis, get your bag, this is it.